What is up everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another one. Got a good one for you today. Got out and had a very, very interesting day to say the least. It was, uh, had a lot going on. I had a big boom. I mean, it was, uh, I'm sure a lot of y'all read, uh, you know, all over Facebook, everything last week. One of those good old Alabama booms. Not, still not sure what it, what it was. You know, some people are saying sonic boom. Some people are saying earthquake. All I know is it it spooked me. It was uh, there was I definitely didn't know what was going on. It was uh, very loud. You can definitely tell in the video. You can kind of hear it starts like uh, it sounds like wind noise, but that's just like rumbling and you know I don't know. It's like I said, it was just weird. But y'all have to stay tuned for that. But uh, other than that, you know, I had a great day catching redfish. Got a, got a lot of redfish. So you'll have to stick tuned for all that to uh, to see all the action. But it was a, it was a good day. But if you guys are interested in a guided kayak fishing trip, boat fishing trip, surf fishing trip, any kind of fishing trip along the Alabama Gulf Coast, anywhere that saltwater touches Alabama, be sure to shoot me an email at kayaking.kennedy at gmail.com. Or you can check out uh, whistlingwaters.com or you can check out Whistling Waters on the Fishing Chaos app. But... I'm not going to hammer on too long. I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into the video so y'all stick with it. All right, we're kind of getting up where I'm going to start fishing. Just starting to see some sign of life. This is a section of the creek that's, you know, right now, kind of like I mentioned, we're dealing with some very, very low tides. It's low tide was, uh, low tide was at eight o'clock this morning. It's uh, 11 o'clock now. And <clears throat> with that, we've had, you know, north wind the past few days. So as you can see, I mean, I'm fishing in shin deep water at best, but up ahead of me, there's a nice, nice section of deeper creek. And uh, in the past, I've run into some schools and it's some of my, you know, more recent videos, like when I did that catch and cook and, um, you know, when I was <clears throat> in an area pretty similar to this, um, the places I would find the redfish schools were in these sections that are a little bit deeper so there's only so many of these out here and you spend enough time out here you can find where they are pretty easily so i'm going to try to sneak up it's kind of right around this bend is where it starts i did see a big poof of mud just a few seconds ago there's an eagle hanging around did see a big poof of mud just a few seconds ago where um, I assume it was probably a redfish. Either that or maybe a flounder. It was definitely something bigger, not a mullet, not, not a little bait fish or anything. So a little bit of life, but it is definitely going to be tough today. I'm going to have my work cut out for me. There's might be the school right in front of me, actually. Um, got my work cut out for me. It got down real, real chilly last night. Uh, got down to about 31 so I opted to take a little later later morning got out launched about <clears throat> I don't know probably about nine o'clock and then just kind of played around for a little bit just because like I said it was not really much tide movement not really much water depth and just kind of getting everything ready getting everything set just kind of fan cast this creek though. Good gosh, what was that? Holy. Oh my gosh, what was that? What the heck was that? Is that maybe a sonic boom? Either a sonic boom or something just exploded, but I haven't seen any jets flying around. Ooh, that is a little spooky, man. As soon as I turn my camera off, I hook my first fish of the morning. A little rat a tat. That's all right, though. I'll take it. Yeah, I turned it off so I could find that boom in my camera. <laughs> but I can still hear the rumbling. That's kind of, I don't know, that's kind of spooky. All 
right, we're on the board. All right, there it is, first fish of the morning. Definitely a little runt to tunt. I don't think this one's quite gonna be able to make it, but we will certainly measure it to see. Well, that's actually 16 and a half, so. Don't normally like keeping them this small, but I'm gonna be sure I can warm myself up with some soup here in a little bit. So we'll get this guy all bled out and uh, get him on ice, and then we'll get back to it. He hit the paddle tail. Like I said, it's literally as soon as I turn my camera off, he, he ate. So that's all right, though. We got most of it on camera, and we're gonna still try to get a few more. So y'all stick with it. And that was a um, an interesting couple of minutes there. That was definitely strange. Heard that really, really loud boom. Like I could feel that in my chest when it went off. So I don't know. And I mean, I know sonic booms are loud and will definitely produce some pressure, but there's no jets flying around. And it, I mean, I know they're loud, but I don't think it would carry that far out in the Gulf if it's to the point where I couldn't see it. So that was, I don't know. That was, that was strange. Kind of a weird couple of couple of minutes there but I got me a fish he was sitting right where he was supposed to be there, here's another one nice. another little rut ah. shoot calm down buddy I'm gonna let you go all right Number two for the day. Look at that tail. That is a nice looking tail. I don't really want to keep any small ones anymore, so I'm gonna let him go. I'm trying to look for some around 20 inches or so. But that's a good sign. There must be a little school of them right here. There's fish all around me right now. Just try hitting them with this little shallow jerk bait. Sort of pollard rip and slash. Or ripping stuff, I guess. Always amazes me how a fish can hit a bait with six hooks on it and miss. Oh, it missed that time. Good one. Good one. This is a nice one. Was the ticket switching over to that ripping stuff? Too much stuff on the kayak today. Spit the whole school. Yeah, that's a good one. I don't think he's hooked very good, so I need to quit playing games with him. In the boat. Nice. All right. There's number three for the morning. That's uh definitely definitely enjoy catching some reds. I caught him on that ripping stuff. Like I said, just as kind of a shallow water diver. Nice big old broom tail on him. That's kind of the size I've been looking for. After you know, I got put one smaller one in the cooler. 
just to be sure I had something. Um, then I caught that other smaller one, let him go. Let's get a measurement on this guy real quick. He is 24 and a half. So unfortunately for him, he's gonna go into the cooler. We got the uh, Karen and her mom wanting fish tonight, so we will make sure to bring them home some fish. But it was fish are kind of sitting right where I where I have. Like I said, I hadn't really fished this creek this time of uh, all right this year uh, this time of year. I hadn't fished it the winter. I've just been so set on going after that one school the whole time. But I just kind of got a wild hair. Didn't necessarily want to pedal 10 miles today, so decided to come out here and try. And I've been on schools out here in the past plenty of times, and it seems like there's one in here. So I'm gonna try to catch a couple more. I probably won't push them too hard just so I don't spook them or anything, but it's nice to find. Nice to find some fish. You know there's a few different schools out here, so I'm going to get this fish taken care of, get it on ice, and see if we can't get us another one. See a bunch of wake-in, see a bunch... Ah, oh, there he was. I missed him. They're right here in front of me. Let's just try to do it. Like maybe a straight retrieve through here. Perfect size. nice when you can kind of call your shots like that that's that school that I've been chasing they must be just kind of right up in here nice ribbon slash seems to be the bait of choice today that's another good red that's the perfect eating size red in my opinion it's got four spots on that side two on that nice six spotter pretty blue tail that's what we're looking for man it's that's number four for the day it's turned out to be a uh, honestly, a little bit better day than I expected. I knew, I knew I'd find some fish, but I thought I'd have to. Uh, knew I'd find some fish. I just was expecting to have to search for them a little bit more. Didn't have to do that. Found a nice school, so it's good scouting day. I think what I'm going to do now is get this fish taken care of, and I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to leave this school completely alone. I don't want to pressure them too much. I've done a pretty good job of kind of staying behind them today, not uh, not making a lot of noise and everything. So I think I'm gonna get out of here, kind of save these fish for you know future guide trips. If you guys want to go on a guided trip, I got a few fish found. So get out of here, leave these guys alone. I'm gonna go back out to the mouth, get set up, cook that soup, get that in me, and uh, after I do that, I might go search around, see if I can't find another school, but. But either way, man, what a what a great day out in the marsh. Beautiful weather. It's warming up. Nice and calm. Finding fish. So can't ask for anything better. But it's been a, been a great day. So get this taken care of. I'm going to get out there and I'll see you all in a few minutes. All right. Well, that's going to do it for today. Like I said, it turned out to be a pretty good day. Ended up with five redfish. Uh, so it was good. You know, I found me another school. I didn't want to stick with those too long. I didn't want to, you know, keep pressuring them because I was... Uh, just wanted to uh, wanted to find another school that I have that was a little bit closer to the launch than where I have been going. So, good thing I found that. Glad to see there's a lot of fish out there. Redfish are definitely very, very active right now. So, if you guys are interested in a guided trip, now is the time to shoot me an email. So, like I said, shoot me an email at kayaking.kennedy at gmail.com if you're interested in one of those. But it was, uh, let me let me know below what y'all think that loud boom was. What, what do you think it was? Drop a comment below. And I'm, um... I really don't know. I mean, I guess it could have been a sonic boom. Who knows? But I, I really don't know. It was a, you know, I could feel it. I could feel it. It felt like somebody hit me in the chest when it hit. So it was, 
very very strange but it's good to get out and catch some redfish uh you know the next video we'll have coming up towards the tail end of the week i got out and uh, I, I caught that redfish and i did some uh did some spicy redfish soup turned out to be fantastic it was very good but y'all have to stick tuned for that video should be up in the next few days so make sure you're subscribed up ring that notification bell so you don't miss either of those and uh, if you like this video be sure to shoot me that thumbs up but i'm gonna quit hammering on i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and i will see y'all in the next one